Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is Malfunction. Thank you for joining me. It's a bit of a a um, a environmental um, opinion piece for um, for the last uh, forty odd years, uh, close to forty odd years that I've been living in New Zealand. Uh, you know, it's it's my home. And uh, as, as a Kiwi, I'm concerned about our environment as much as anybody else. But I don't, I don't uh, particularly go for the whole, uh, you know, global warming thing or the whole we're going to die in 12 years type thing or any of that weird, you know, extremist ideologies and weird things that people come up with uh, when it comes to environment and stuff like that. But I am concerned about the environment. I am concerned about recycling. I'm concerned about um, how we deal with rubbish, how we deal with, you know, um, you know, aluminum cans, uh, bottles, and all that. And um, and one of you know, uh, I think it was about a year ago, I made a comment on the from a district council thing about having more rubbish bins and so on, and having more recycling bins to put out. And and they've done a really good job. Our, our, our community here in Whangarei and our district, uh, they've done a really good job in providing every home just about with three different types of recycling things. You know, you've got your rubbish, you've got your, uh, uh, your bottles, and you've got your cans. Um, so that we have easily just put, separating everything out. And we've done that for the last, I think, around about 20 odd years. But at the same time, I've noticed, despite all this amazing work done by the community and the fact that we actually have a Green Party, right, who's really, really push is about the environment, not much has been done when it comes to the mindset of people, uh, when it comes to education, when it comes to actually trying to get us all to think green and pure New Zealand. Way back in the 80s, there was a very good... Uh, um, advertisement, public, um, commercial um, push, right, uh, with business and everything to keep New Zealand green. Uh, put it in the bin. There's all this whole thing. And as someone who's, who's a, you know, probably a boomer, considered a boomer now at 47 this year. I mean, I don't look it, but I'll be 47 in about a week. No, actually tomorrow. So, you know, around about, say, 40 years of being in a, this amazing country, I come from a farm in Fiji, and my um, even my own home here in New Zealand, my family home is actually very, um, very green, very, um, you know, full of fruit and full of uh, flowers, um, trees, and just really lush. One thing I noticed, and I have noticed this for the last two years, because I walk around a lot, I... Um, I uh, it's uh, it's it's how I get around, and everything where where I'm placed that is very w within a two k of walking distance, maybe even less. Now we've been locked down for four weeks, and in that time we noticed that there was a real heavy drop in pollution of various kinds, right? Um, but what I noticed was littering never went down. Um, sure, there was less of it, but there was no change in it, if you really think about it. And this is something I, I, um, I um, had a discussion with someone last year, uh, right, late last year, about I think it might have been about October, September. And because I walk around a lot, I get to see what's on the street. I get to see what's on the footpaths. I get to see what's on the roads. And it disheartens me all the time when I see plastic wrappers just thrown on the ground outside of shops, as I saw today, uh, gloves and, um, you know, um, you know, we're concerned about uh, the COVID and, um, you know, and the pandemic. So there's masks thrown outside of the rubbish bin. They're not even having, you know, they've just chucked it at the rubbish bin fell out. They didn't even bother to push that in, but around the rubbish bin also, because I know we, you know, we've had some uh, essential, you know, rubbish collectors, has been slightly down. But that doesn't excuse the fact that people can't put the rubbish in the bin, especially when there's about three or four around. The other thing is that every Friday after pickup, depending where you live, you'll notice that there's littering, rubbish just all over the place because 
you know, uh, that people haven't closed their, um, closed the old um, bins properly or they haven't put in a plastic bag, um, maybe because they're just lazy or don't have the money to spend to do that. Uh, but also the fact that they got rid, rid of the uh, one-use one plastic bags. And I love those because you could just put all your rubbish bin into it and that get held it together. Same thing with like carry bags, like plastic white plastic carry bags from shopping centers or clear ones from the groceries. You could basically put all your um, pieces, pieces of paper and plastic in there and tie it up and it'll sit in your bin if you don't have the, um, you know, the green bin. And it's just strange that, I mean, the other thing is I noticed that one of my bins got stolen, right? Um, that the landlord had provided because I'm really concerned about um, rubbish and he's really concerned about rubbish being strewn all over the street. He actually hauled me up one time when a dog got onto it and so he provided me with a bin. Talking, you know, and about bins, we have been provided bins, right? You can ring up the council and get the bins. But why are we so, for the last 20 years that I've noticed, that we're so unconcerned about littering in New Zealand? We're so, con and this is, comes from someone who posted about this on, on Facebook. And I saw that. I said, you know, I commented that we haven't been green for a long time, for decades, probably about two decades. We haven't been green as a nation for at least since the 80s, maybe even the 90s. And so the whole idea that we, we promote ourselves as 100% pure New Zealand to the world, yet I've heard people who come here, tourists, and go, this isn't that really that green. So we also, it's almost like a propaganda movement where you're going, well, come to New Zealand, it's a perfectly green country. Yet when you come there, there's people throwing rubbish bin outside their windows as they drive along. Cans, can't even, can't even hold it in their car until they get home or get to a bin and put it in there or even put it in the bin. And, and like I said, we had a real huge push in the 80s when I was a kid uh, uh, in my um, pre-teens, teens, to really push to give a real good environmental push and to show that we can be a green nation. We really are very lucky in New Zealand. We're very privileged. And, um, and the more people arrive with their own ideology of what, you know, how clean to be, and what they think is clean isn't what we consider to be clean because we, as an as a environmental green country. So I think our green parties, as much as we, I love them and I have voted for them in the past, despite all their arguing and debating, you know, in parliament about this, we got to take care of this, they really haven't gotten down to the grassroots of it, which is teaching people to not litter. That's that simple. You want a you got you want a green environment. You want to have a pure environment. You want to promote New Zealand as the place to go for tourism, to enjoy our place. I mean, even in the tracks, people throw rubbish. So you have people walking down the um, you know forest tracks in the bushes. They throw leave rubbish at the beach, right? We've had people complain. Um, you know, uh, people complaining about how badly their roads have been treated. By um, by vague vehicles of tourists and their camper vans, just not worrying about it. And I've heard this from people. But people, when the people say that, people think, "Oh, you're just complaining. You, you know, you you're going to turn away our tourists." But you, we're already turning away our tourists. And this is a time when we need our tourists to be back because of the pandemic. We've lost millions, hundreds of millions of dollars because of this. Um, the fact that the pandemic happened. So we want our tourists back. So this is a time to actually think about how to keep our environment cleaner so that people actually really come and say, yes, look, what we're, New Zealand is concerned about the environment. What I don't like is extremists trying to tell people how to run their lives, yet they're not concerned about picking up rubbish on the side of the road. And I've said this before, I, I, don't, I don't mind if you want to go and mouth off at people about, oh, hey, you know, we got to be concerned about the environment, but you, don't even worry about the trash on the road, you know. And I and I've seen so many amazing people and groups in Whangarei actually go out and clean up beaches that other people have trashed, right? So you have to pick up after other people, and this is what really galls me because I think 
we've got to do an idea that it's other people's job. And it comes down to personal responsibility. And I've, been, and I've really worked hard on myself for the last two years on my own responsibilities. And, um, you know, uh, and there's only so much each one of us can do, but we can take care of the rubbish that we make, the, the ones that we create, all right? We don't have to worry about anybody else's rubbish if we take care of our own rubbish. And we've got the provisions to do that. But we're so concerned about p protesting and activism and getting in groups and having a political movements that we don't actually think about our own personal responsibility when we take out our rubbish ourselves, where we take care of um, how we, ch um, at home, how we put the plastic with the plastics, with the cans with the cans, with the bottles with the cans, oh, bottles with the bottles, and so on. Because we have those three bins now, right? So what is stopping us? What really is stopping us is us saying one thing and doing another thing. And one of the things I really work hard on myself personally is to walk to walk and talk to talk, right? And that's a, if you can't bring those two things together, you have to walk to talk, right? If you can't bring those two things together, there's no point trying to prove to the world how green we are. You can make a billion dollar air. It still won't fix the fact that there is rubbish on the floor. If you want to, you know, on the roads, if you want to, if you want to spend all that money, why not just spend on advertising for people to clean up or get or give groups who are cleaning up that money instead of advertising pure New Zealand, right? So get back to the idea of keep New Zealand green, buy New Zealand made, and we'll be fine. We won't need to worry about anybody what anybody else is doing. One of the things I notice about the environment is that people don't care about India or China or Africa, who are the worst polluters in the world. But we in the West are being held, held to a different standard by these activists, sadly, right? By the Greens, sadly. Because its activism is easier than actually doing the work. Words and posters and all they're holding up is easier than actually walking the talk. So yeah, that's all I got to tell you. Uh, if you want to, if you want to keep me zone green, take your own self seriously by picking up your own rubbish and taking care of your own environment. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Just take care of yourself and your own rubbish. And then we'll have a cleaner, greener New Zealand. And then we can be proud of. Because the last 20 years, can't be proud of a clean, green New Zealand because it's not green New Zealand because people are ro chucking rubbish everywhere. And the worst thing is to see it come after pandemic, after three weeks, or four weeks of being in, um, in lockdown, to see rubbish everywhere, which is sad. Because we need to have tourists back in time. Probably not in this next, this next month because we, I really want our economy to get back on its foot by employing our own citizens first. So thank you. Hopefully, uh, you know, you don't think, you know, don't take this as a negative. Just take personal responsibility for your own actions and you, you know, you'll make New Zealand green again. Thank you. And kakite anō.